guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I'm Tyra Kill Turner. Thank you everyone you want to call me. And today, I am finally reviewing Life After Death by Sister Soldier. Okay, and this book came out in March. I pre ordered this book. I'll never pre order no book, but when they started hyping it up last year. Everybody went crazy, like the book world went crazy. They was like, yes, she bringing back the coldest winter ever. We miss winter. We want to know what happened to winter after the, the coldest winter ever because it was the coldest winter ever. And then her sister had a story. And then um, Midnight had a series. I did not read neither one of those yet. Um, I actually started to read the first Midnight book, but it's just, it's like, I like long books, but I need something. You just can't be describing something for a long time. I need some action. You know, I I, I need something. But um, it really strengthens your reading ability. So I don't know if that's what she was going for. But let's go ahead and get into this book review. First, I want to start off with the cover. If y'all seen my book reviews before, we're going to talk about the cover first because... That's kind of like an important thing if you like covers. I like book covers. Sometimes I like simple covers, but it just can't be too simple. Like you can't have two straight lines on it and I'll be like, oh my gosh, uh, no, I need to look. Mm. So she stayed with how she did the first book. So the first cover I do have, like I have the, her, all her books basically. And so the first book is blue with like purple, pink, and it has the lips on it. So it's only right that she brought it back for this book, the lips, and then I get why she chose black because it's life after death. And like a whole bunch of people were asking me, Ty, what do you think about the book? And I was just like, y'all, I'm struggling. Like the first five chapters, I did, like, don't get me wrong. I love Sister Soldier, but I did want to fight her because I was like, this ain't what I, this, this ain't, this ain't what I thought it was going to be. This ain't giving what it's supposed to be gave. Like, it just didn't. So, <laughs> I had got up until chapter 27, and then I decided that I wanted to finish this book so I could put it on the shelf. I'm not gonna sell it or anything like that because I just wanna have the whole collection on hand. Um, but anywho, anyways, so I just like how she did the black, and then she did her name in gold. I mean, it is pretty simple, you know, cover. To me, I've never seen a book that fast that have and she was number one. She had already hit number one bestseller, number one new release. She already had reviews. And that's the thing that was throwing people off was the reviews. And it's like, uh, this is bad. Blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> um, as you know, the coldest winter ever. Winter was basically that girl. I didn't really, like, how can I put this? Winter was that girl, but she was also a bitch. And excuse my language, <laughs> um, I cuss on my channel. So, yeah. But we gon', we gon', we ain't gon' take it that far. But that's what Winter was, and I don't think I would have been Winter's friend in in real life because she was just so full of herself, conceited. She did some dirty, some dirty stuff, like some dirty stuff, and I feel like she really fumbled when her father went to jail in the coldest winter ever and then her mama turned into a crackhead and then her sisters went into the system. Like that's basically how that went. She was in love with a man that did not want her. And I really understand why Midnight did not want her. Now reading the Midnight series of like how he grew up and stuff like that. But Winter was not his cup of tea. And I'm so, so, so glad he did not give it to her. And I know a lot of people probably wanted Winter and Midnight together, but baby, Midnight would have broke her on down, honey, and she would not be the girl that she was. So if you read this book, I feel like Life After Death, one, it was really life, is this on my cover? Anyways, <laughs> uh, it was really Life After Death. In the first chapter, Winter's in prison and she's talking about um, having some reality show. Her sister's boyfriend is producing it. She's gonna get all this money and furs and coats and stuff like that. She wants Midnight to escort her. And 
let me pause i do reveal a lot of stuff so if y'all don't want that type of review go ahead and click off because we gonna we gonna talk about this book okay we gonna we gonna get into it but anyway she wanted midnight to escort her and stuff like that so as she's getting released from prison i don't even think she made it to the car before she done got shot and then she died and i was like i did no i know i did not pay 18 dollars for this book for this girl to get shot in the first chapter and die. I ain't get her, I ain't get to see her run, you know, run the streets a little bit, go shot, you know, meet up with some hood men or something. I don't know, but I, I, I didn't expect that. She had already served 15 years in prison because if I remember correctly, she had took the rap for some guns and some drugs for her ex-boyfriend Bullet. But then on top of that, let's just go ahead and get into that right real quick. I'm trying to figure out how Winter fumbled and she got with Bullet, but Bullet wasn't even on her level. Somebody, somebody let me know. But anyways, so she served 15 years, boom, she get released, boom, she shot, and she she did. Like, she gone. So then this is where the book turned. This is where a lot of people got turned off because they were like, I know, I I just know I ain't buy this book. And we 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 in some some different realm and it's like how can I put this? To me, as the more I read this, it's like she was between Earth and and heaven. No, I don't want to say that. Hell. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm picturing, I'm picturing it in my head. Okay. So you got earth, then you got hell, then you got this in-between space, and then you got heaven. So I don't know if you ever seen this movie called, um, The Lovely Bones. And I know that's a sad movie, but in that movie, she's like in the in-between. So that's what I figured that winter was in the in-between, but winter's in-between included hell. So down there, they got the last stop, don't drop, whatever it was called. And basically she had to learn a lot of lessons to get where she needed to go. But it's crazy to me how she was just the whole, the entire time, she was so conceited, like I'm, I'm so happy that in in the in between, that's what I'm gonna call it, that she didn't have no mirror, she didn't have that designer, she didn't have all that fly shit. Like she didn't have all of that. So it was like really a struggle for her because winter, like it's okay to, you know, be confident and stuff like that. But when you real conceited, it shows. So if you like a really beautiful person on the outside, but you like real conceited and that comes out, that's that's ugly. Like, don't do that. You can be confident go ahead um you know you be confident but when you start being cocky and stuff like that it's a no for me <laughs> so that's the vibe that winter gave me this entire book i swear i went to what winter's ass at one point so at one point she was like a fly on the wall and she seen like the life that midnight had with his wife and stuff like that and i'm pretty sure when i read his series that i'll be able to read more about that but that was one, one place that she was at. Then she had ran across some some nuns, I'm gonna call them. And they was like, basically like, do this and then this is gonna happen. Like, this is your safe space, da 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 type thing. She kept running away. So, <clears throat> the first time she ran away, she ran into somebody called that nigga. And I was like, this was the soldier really named somebody that nigga, she did. She did, it's her book, you know, I, I, I'm not, a, you know, I'm not judging or anything like that. I'm like, wow, she really made somebody that nigga, all right. So she met that nigga and that nigga gave, gave me hood vibes all the way. And so the thing about it is, when you engage in sexual intercourse where you get heat from the back in your booty hole, I'm just gonna say it. Um. <laughs> you would turn into an animal. So she turned into a serpent, which if y'all did not know is a snake. And then she turned into a dog. And what really disgusted me was that that nigga was having sex with her when she was a dog. And I was really disgusted. And I was gonna stop reading, but I was like, let me keep going. Let me keep pushing forward. But it was just, it, it, it was a lot going on 
with that situation to where she would like get snatched up and then go back to that nigga. And it, it was like she was obsessed with him. I want to please him. I want, I'm the top bitch. Like, he mine, period. And I'm just like, girl, you ain't learning no lesson. You ain't learning nothing. <laughs> like, you ain't learning not a nothing, okay? So, boom, okay. That nigga died, quote unquote. And they was already dead. So, in this in-between place, everybody did. <laughs> Everybody's dead. So, he died again and then at one point i know she met um she met her kids that she aborted now this is this is the thing that threw me off about that it's like as a writer myself i know we be pulling stuff out of thin air but that really threw me off because i was like she had to have been pregnant before she had gotten with Bullet, but that wasn't in the coldest winter ever. But Sister Soldier had to make up some type of storyline for everything to fall into place. So I understand. So the story is that Winter had got pregnant by a guy named Boom. It one time thing, and she got pregnant with twins. But when she got the abortion, the doctor did not tell her that she was aborting twins. Um, I. I, I think she would have kept the children if she knew they were twins but it was one boy one girl and they were kind of the girl was kind of like um helping her through everything and then she went on a list to be born again to new parents which I thought that was pretty cool because I don't know I think about stuff like that but anyways um and then at the end of the book her son helped her helped her get into the higher up um but back to that nigga. So after that, she was in this like, I'm gonna call it a zoo. Um, with all these other women that had turned into animals too, they was released, turned back into humans. And then she ran into another man. And I don't forgot what his name was called. Let me see. This ain't it. I'm holding this like a Bible. Okay, so the place is called Last Stop Before You Drop. What is his name? What is his name? What is his name? Oh, all I see is that nigga. I promise you, y'all, that's, that's exactly what I see. And then what threw me off is that it was a, it was a little incest in this book with with um the daddy sleeping with Olga or was it the son sleeping with Olga? I don't know who was sleep. It was some incest. The daddy, the sister. The daddy, the daughter, or the brother and the sister. I was like, oh my gosh. We gonna, I can't find his name. We gonna call him the Lighthouse Man. So she ended up being with the Lighthouse Man after that. And it was just like, she, they met and then she instantly fell in love with him. I'm just like, wow. This is how really some people act. A man got hella money and he's stunned and stuff like that and females just fall at his feet. Won't be me. And that's exactly what Winter did. But Winter seduced him. On top of that, she used what she got to get what she wanted and that, that kind of cost her her sanity for a minute. Because in the lighthouse, it was like shark tanks and like this wall full of serpents and stuff like that. You ain't thinking nothing of it, but the thing about it is, she knew that if she would have let him hit it from the back, I'm saying like that, hit it from the back, she knew that she would turn into an animal. She knew that. She still let him do it, which was stupid. <laughs> and she ended up turning into a mouse and then her friend that they were having a threesome with, she turned into a serpent. And her friend was afraid of serpents. So, um, she said that like months and weeks went by. And then, um, she remembered that her son had told her to say something. And so she had ended up turning back into her human self. That's when she linked up with her son. And basically, they were on, in the outside gates of heaven. And she had to really face the truth about everything that she has done up in her life and the things that she has not done so it was this thing she was in this like dark place small place and 
it just kept like it was all like admit to what you did admit to everything that you did murder theft anything like any, any anything everything they had a list she had to name all of that and then they had like videos rolling of her like on her knees and the only time she was on her knees is when she was getting head i was like i would never but <laughs> um that was the only time like she never got on her knees and like prayed or anything else the only time she was on her knees is when she was giving head again i would never but um it was like that she was like yeah i was i was giving head da -da 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 -da. ain't nothing wrong with that it was like you was giving head but <laughs> you was giving head but you you ain't pray you ain't do none of that you bowed down to them but you never you know you never showed your love to me basically you never showed your love to God, but you bowed down to all these men, and ain't none of them here. That's how I took it. So then, boom, she she goes into this place. I don't know. And then next thing you know, she wakes up, and this whole time it was a dream, and I was like. Sister Soulja just took me through a religious trip as a dream. So, Winter ended up being in a coma. So she died, but she was resuscitated. And she ended up being in a coma the whole time. And she her show still was being filmed she never appeared on the show but she appeared on the last episode i believe and like she linked up with her father and um even she was on like the radio station having an interview and even bullet showed up to so myself married me i was dead 15 years from you and me my so-called friend attempted to murder me and you told myself marry me baby you dusty like you dusty so I did post this like picture in a group in a, a book group on Facebook. And I was like, y'all, I finally finished this book. And a lot of people were, were on there like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Da, 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 because a lot of people did not like this book. And then somebody said the first chapter and the last chapter was the best. And I agree because I expected something totally different. But I see what Sister Soldier did. And a lot of people are not religious heavy. I'm not. Like, I believe there is a higher power. <clears throat> but I'm not, like, so heavy into religion to where, you know, oh, we do this, you know, the, the, you know, mm, we're not going to get into it. But, like, I'm not that deep into religion to where this really moved me. I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, it opened my eyes, but I can see why this was not people's cup of tea. So, rating. What would I rate this? Out of five stars, I would rate this a three. Yeah, I'll rate this a three. Um, and the reason is because, one, the length of the book is really hard to push out all of this. And I know this weighed heavily on her mind. And now that she's released it into the world, that she can relax. Um, another star because one, she released another book after so many years. Um, and then another star because even though so many people had taken her down, was dragging her basically. And I don't want y'all to think I'm dragging her. I'm really giving my honest opinion about this book. But people dragged her and she stood her ground and she was all like, numbers do not lie baby girl was everywhere number one everywhere through oh everybody came publicity at its finest okay so she even though y'all was talking bad about her when people do stuff like that they be like let me see what this let me just see what this is about so that's exactly like y'all gave her free promotion so <clears throat> I want to give kudos to Sister Soldier. If you ever run across my review, just know that it was just my honest opinion and your book will stay on my shelf. And it is beautiful. I can say that. Um, but yeah, and I love you. 
But <laughs> if you guys like my review, make sure you thumbs up. Make sure y'all leave a comment and let me know what y'all thought about Life After Death by Sister Soldier. And make sure y'all come and become a part of the Brownie Squad. What are you waiting for? And I will have more book reviews coming soon on my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.